Call of Duty 2021. We got new information about it and understand this, man. I am fully aware a lot of you guys will like, yo, Scott, we got Call of Duty 2020. They're not removing Scooby Smash right now. You're gonna talk about Call of Duty 2021. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure whose grandma is this, all right? But she'll probably stay caged till Activision addresses the skill based match again, okay? I, I promise you. But here's the thing we're not just gonna be getting one Call of Duty game in 2021. We're gonna be getting two Call of Duty games. Put your kids to beds, hide your wives. We also got news about Cyberpunk. We also got a new law that's gonna get passed. Apparently, it got passed. That's kind of like what I'm hearing. And streamers can be put behind bars, like deaths, okay? The, the police might be coming straight from the underground what an epic ending to 2020 this will be if this is actually real right like 2021 is gonna be a dlc okay facts no print we also got a new console coming out that might rival soldier boy console we have seven stories that are hands so let's just get right into it shout out to every single one of you for four likes on the last video uh let's go for five likes and if an alpha chat master like you like what you see hey feel free to subscribe and cover all the big news boot Coming in at our number 7 spot, Cyberpunk 2077 has sold more than 13 million copies despite launch disasters and refunds and obviously we know that there were 8 million pre-orders. Still kinda impressive, right? And here's the thing man, this is, this is kinda shocking though, Cyberpunk 2077 sales dropped by 80% and Assassin's Creed Valhalla reclaims UK top spot and check this out, Assassin's Creed beat Mo in Call of Duty Black Ops, this is where I am kind of sus, okay, like we're talking about UK, okay, like FIFA, like you're telling me FIFA couldn't, couldn't beat Call of Duty, you're talking about FIFA couldn't beat Assassin's Creed, that's where I am kind of shocked, okay, like let me just keep a buck 50, here's the thing dog, obviously negativity actually sells, right, but in this case, I can see cyberpunk selling well like i totally see cyberpunk selling well but i i still wonder like if we didn't have the negativity the game had a lot of hype right like a lot of people were really hard for this game a lot of people were like hey this is gonna cure depression i'm finally gonna be able to walk again i mean metaphorically speaking and i was the guy who was saying that this game is gonna carry me till gta 6 and understand i'm not hating on this game some people think that i'm hating on this game i'm defending the game i'm doing neither i'm just uh, out here spreading the news and sharing the memes and whatnot but listen, okay, the backlash in this situation might have raised the sales and whatnot, but it definitely has tanked their, their stock, right? They are losing money left and right, and obviously investors are big mad out there, and they're looking to file a lawsuit, and if that lawsuit's going to do it, like, CDPR will be gangbanged on the likes of which we have never seen. At our number six spot, this was sent to me by a homeboy out there from the streets, Flame and Koo. He added me in the situation, and we're hearing that Cyberpunk has been taken off the big shelf in Big W. Like, like, at first I thought that they were saying Big W like you know what it's a Big W that this game got removed but apparently that's a Big W retailer in Australia and they have took the game out of the shelf this is the hey attention customers for all inquiries hey if you want to get a copy of Cyberpunk 2077 for Xbox and PlayStation please head to the technology counter now this is beyond sad because PlayStation they were like hey get the F out we're gonna remove the game from the store and now an actual store when the homies thought that they're gonna be able to walk around and you know go to a store pick up a physical copy i'm not fucking retailers like hey get mama they dead <laughs> remove the game man but hey on a brighter side coming in at our number uh five spot or four spot i'm not sure what spot this is but hey luke kind of added me in the situation and he says that hey man i think GameSpot watches your videos i went to read the headlines it says that cyberpunk 2077 suffers from a radical <laughs> dysfunction and ladies and gentlemen studs and chats i did examine the goods okay and therefore i cannot show that in the video because apparently it shows like bobs it shows a uh, vagana it shows like schlongs and whatnot and apparently it's a glitch in the game that makes it visible and it's kind of soft just like how people bought the game and kind of got soft uh, you, you know what i mean i mean oh! just jokes okay i like cyberpunk story a lot okay i said that and i'll say it again just for two people who might think that i'm actually hating on the game but on the other hand, this is uh, this is crazy, man. Yes, folks, this is real. And a homeboy actually kind of added me in the situation. So I was like, hey, man, uh, no more Soldier Boy console. We got to switch to this now. And I guess KFC Gaming it is. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at is is facts okay this is a new console this is called kfc console and it do be looking pretty good man and here you can see we got like chicken hair and the exact description says this world first built-in chicken chamber never risk letting your chicken go
go cold again thanks to the patented chicken chamber. Utilizing the system's natural heat and airflow system, you can now focus on your gameplay and enjoy hot crispy chicken <laughs> between rounds. I mean, I, I did not see this coming and they had their official website, right? Like, you think I'm capping? I mean, we have an official website. They say that power your hunger. And we also got a full-on built-in designed by Cooler Master. We also got like the GPU out here. I mean, the GPU looks kind of crap. Like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep a buck fifty. But Core i9 9th engine CPU. Wow! Only the best. I'm not sure about that one. Honestly, man, they also got like one terabyte SSD. They say that hey, their NVMe speeds that are six times faster. I mean, I think that's a whole lot of cap. And speaking of cap. VR ready ray tracing to 240 FPS with up to 240 Hertz output 4k TV gaming yo that is whole lot of cap my my cap meter is going off the charts I mean let me know what percentage your cap meter is at right now because mine is definitely it surpassed like 110% okay Xbox the Sony ponies both of them are struggling to put out like 120 FPS and you're talking about KFC gaming doing 240 FPS just 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 get mama but listen I think what they mean by 240 FPS here is that Minecraft you know Fortnite I think both of these games are gonna be 120 FPS capable maybe games like FIFA like sports games you know you can put chicken inside it's a really cool idea and I think I'm moving over to a KFC gaming console instead of Soulja Boy console okay KFC gaming console is the best compared to the Xbox and the Sony Pony console but at her number two spot this is absolutely insane, dog. Like, sooner or later, man. Like, you know, there's a saying, lock yourselves in the basement. The Martians are here. But now it is, hey, lock yourselves in the basement. The, the police might be here any second, okay? Proposed US Roni situation relief bill introduces major new copyright streaming measures. In a nutshell, there are a lot of politics going around. And half of it, more than half of it, I just don't even understand myself, okay? Like, I'm just gonna keep a buck 50. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an astronaut. If any astronaut is around, hey, share your expertise but the situation is kind of wild here I'm personally in Canada from what I've heard a lot of people are big mad about this situation because they apparently were given like over two trillion dollars to actually decide that people in the US will only get like six hundred dollars in terms of stimulus bills so a lot of people are big mad about this rightfully so I'm with you I totally understand the situation it is bad and another thing these mofos have done here is that they snuck another bill that is about like copywriting where a twitch streamer if that twitch streamer doesn't talk for like uh, you know five minutes something like that they got gangster music blasting in the background they got like mumbo rap blasting in the background they don't talk anymore and if that copyright owner of that music decides to pursue they might be in legal trouble where the, the police might show up and be like okay man you gotta come with us and we, we gotta put you behind bars this is what this new law is gonna do now i have seen some people say that hey it's not gonna be this bad yes the law is true but it's not gonna be this bad other people are like hey man this this is bad this is gonna be real bad personally i'm in canada i'm kind of sus about it i'm not sure if this is uh, this applies to the canadians out there or not i'm just a youtuber man so thankfully i'm not really a twitch streamer but this kind of applies to everybody on the internet this applies to the memes out there this applies to the tiktokers out there this applies to everybody so imagine like posting a meme online somebody come on hey man this is a, i made that meme and now you're like the sand behind bars dog like this is this is next level obviously there will be some fair use element here too right they're not gonna throw anybody behind bars at least that's what i, I i'm assuming right now that's what i hope but let's see what happens this is crazy like 2020 what what an epic ending this is gonna bring to the the 2020 year right 2021 might be a dlc year for 2020 but at our number one spot we got two situations here call of duty 2021 ladies and gentlemen sledgehammer games have added over 150 new people to their team this year with over 60 job listings that's what charlie until reported and here's the thing man some people would be like hey man this is just uh, you know sledgehammer games they, they're just not working on another game listen here mr smarty pants activision is not gonna keep a studio active just for like doing a schlong measuring contest right they don't want these devs to do helicopters with their willies they want these devs to actually produce and make a new Call of Duty game, right? And here it also says they are working on multiple projects. I, I think one of them will be Call of Duty, maybe Modern Warfare 3 Remastered. There is news about Modern Warfare 3 Remastered going around. I will be covering that in the next video as well. But here's the thing. Last year, 
I believe before Modern Warfare, before Warzone, uh, somewhere around that time, okay? The Gaming Revolution reported this because the leaker told him, the same leaker who got everything right about Modern Warfare 2019, the Warzone, the same leaker, he claims that in 2021, we're going to be having two Call of Duty games. The second Call of Duty game is going to be made by Sledgehammer Games. It's going to be a free-to-play Call of Duty game. If you have been around the launches, you probably have heard about this. But understand this. This is a one-year-old leak. So anything can change. Like, this is one-year-old information. The official news here is that Sledgehammer Games is active and they're working on multiple projects. And some people are assuming that they're going to be working on Call of Duty 2021. And yes, that is plausible. But recently, we had a tease and a hint for Modern Warfare sequel right so it seems like that infinity ward is making modern warfare 2021 but i assume either sledgehammer games is gonna have their own call of duty game or they're gonna be like a supporting studio just like a side chick just like how raven is a side chick for uh pretty much every call of duty games nowadays right we'll see what happens all right share your expertise check out any video on the screen you're gonna get a kick of dopamine like and subscribe as always i'll keep all of you stud muffins on the loose and i'll see you in the next one